Let's do this. B4. Okay, there's an easy way through here, but I have to stop and get one item here. I think it's this way. Vampire Lord having null fire is kind of mean. This way. See this jagged path over here? In case anyone's wondering, those stone golems have slow, so that's why I'm not fighting them. Mass immune. This is basically the strongest weapon in the game. I think Excalibur is stronger, but this will definitely, definitely improve Lila's damage. Um, I could equip the Defender. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know if the Defender's better than the Sunblade. On this floor, definitely not. Maybe when we're done here. I'm gonna pop a potion real quick, because being the only one under 400, kind of, you know. Anyway, one more memo, and back to where we came from. Probably not slowing down this or speeding up this just so I can have my genuine reaction to that. Holy crap. So Lilu is now a force to be reckoned with. That does mean that I can have HB focus on using healing helm for heal, so. By the way, up has a dead end, that's why I'm not going that way now. Up. Oh. Yep, see.
Wait, was that Anna? No, it was HP. And I live up. Okay. Uh... I actually don't remember what this one is. I thought I was close to you. Okay. Poison? Oh, that terrified me. time of the present for that. Yeah, not gonna be one shot in this one. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Ah, bolt too. That'll be pointless for you. Let Anna get one more hit on you, Tiamat. Or Tiamat, whatever you want to call yourself. Yep, you're a ghost. Pillars. They're in a shape. Yeah. Wait, is that? Can't be. Folks, we're here. Um, there's two ways I could do this. But I have potions, so one second. Healing done, and no saved. On we walk. Well, don't you look familiar? 
don't remember me, it's Garland. Two thousand years into the future, you killed me. But the four great forces sent me back in time, thus resurrecting me in the past. The Wheel of Time revolves eternally. I sent the four fiends of chaos into the future. And they shall once again send my future self into the past. Two thousand years from now, I will lose all memory of the past. In that past, I will be reborn yet again. Your lives shall end here, and mine shall last forever. Here we go, folks. First step, first step, first step, first step. I'm trying to think which buff I need to do first. Probably shield, to be honest with you. Alright, here's hoping I can keep Anna along, up, alive. Along, ooh, ice. God, I was afraid he was going to cast magic first. It's okay. That's why I didn't use any cure four charges. Okay, my attackers both have haste. Anna is fully buffed, ready to go. Null fire. And he just used ice. I doubt he's going to use ice two times in a row, so let me use null bolt. Oh, timing! Fire. Okay. Nothing else I need to do there. Null magic, just in case he uses that. And then now I can null ice. I still have a null ice charge. Yeah, there it is. Null ice. Blaze is fire based. Wow, that's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Good, good. Nice. Alright, barriers are all up. No magic. Alright. You know, if anyone else dies, I want Anna alive, because Anna is my killing force. Okay, he's not doing any magic damage. Ooh, I'm glad I healed Anna. Oh, what? The time loop was severed at last. 
the battle spanning 2,000 years came to an end and peace prevailed. The light of the four crystals revived the wind, water, earth, and fire. It all began with a trivial misunderstanding, but it was enough to open Garland's heart to darkness. His hatred swelled with the four forces of nature, and from it were born the four fiends of chaos. Evil swallowed the world, plunging all into darkness. But that is now the past, the stuff of legends. Thanks to the courage and strength of the four warriors, all has been set right again. The warriors will travel in time once more. The world to which they return will be restored to its natural state. Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland will be there oblivious to what happened in that time-twisted dimension. But when did it be all begin? The sources of chaos, or the source of chaos, lay in a strand of time that looped around to connect 2,000 years. Four warriors were chosen by the very forces that had plunged the world into darkness. These four forces were the key to banishing the darkness as well. And when everything was over, the memory of the four warriors' journey to the past was destined to be lost forever. But their deeds will survive in people's hearts as legend. The tales we pass down for generations to come. Dwarves and elves, dragons, people who reach for the stars, all will cherish the tales. The warriors are returning, traveling back from the world 2,000 years past. With the memory of their journey buried deep within their hearts, they will carry on their lives and watch over the world. Never forget, the light of this world must always be guided in the right direction. If it goes astray, darkness will come again. A crystal shines within every heart. A crystal gleams within your heart too, for you are the one who fought the battle spanning 2,000 years. May the world be blessed with light for eternity. And now, roll credits. And I'm guessing epilogue scenes. Um, so, basically, the way that this works is that some undisclosed time Garland turned, he was killed by the four warriors in the Temple of Chaos, and so the cycle began. To my understanding. Now, of course, it may not have been that, actually, but it makes the most sense as far as plot twists go. Like, hey, by the way, you started all of this by accident. Um, and if that, that may not be true. That's just from my understanding of how, of what exactly happened here. But... It's a really good, really good storyline for whenever this was originally written. Um, and it's a plot about time travel that doesn't suck, which generally is a hard thing to pull off. So...
there were times the game did annoy me and aggra aggravated me. Oh yeah, now we're getting the staff uh, from the PlayStation 1 version, the one that I was playing. Um... There were times the game gets annoying, especially with its the encounter rate and sometimes the enemies are just incredibly unfair. And unfortunately, that's just the way that the game was designed. It was designed to be difficult uh, and sometimes even cryptic to extend a player's playtime. And it's an artificial difficulty extender, I'm not going to lie. But a lot of other games had worse problems to make them uh, longer. A lot of times, it was because they were difficult to play. But this game laid down the ground rules fairly early on. Um, written on the NES, it was literally like... You make your four characters, here's the general idea of what you're doing, have fun. And you had to go into the castle yourself. I think I mentioned it in the first video that in this game... They post guards at the at the edges of the town, so when you go into town, you can't leave until you talk to the guard who takes you to the king. Well, in the original, it was you were expected to explore the city, and in turn explore the castle. So you would find that story on your own, and they realized that not everyone's going to do that, so they did end up, that's a lot of red dragons, holy crap. You see, and this is why Warrior of Light is not in this playthrough, because he apparently got eaten by dragons. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, the, yes, they realized that not everyone's going to do that, and so they would either miss the story, or of course, some people didn't even go into town, and you can theoretically not go into town, but also pic awesome picture of Garland there. Um... But yeah, so the game was unforgiving, but also and, and also unfair most of the time. In later, especially in later areas, there's a couple of areas that are just difficulty spike central. Um, Astos, the battle against Astos being one of them. Ice Cavern being one of them. Um, there's just so many things that can go wrong, and restoring yourself, healing yourself, is not an easy thing in this game. And I kind of probably made it a parrot. Like, yeah, once you start getting the healing items that are uh, equipment that you can use the spell from it, that's fine and dandy. But the problem is it only gives you tier 1 spells. You only get heal 1. Heal 1 is like a half a potion on everyone. And potions are terrible healing for in battle. So, it's... It is definitely supply manage um, resource management. And the, with the way magic works in this game, it's got one of the worst magic systems in Final Fantasy series, but at the same token, it was the first magic system, so can't exactly blame it. Um, now, as a note, I will not be continuing my little uh, Final Fantasy escapades just yet. I do have my another project already in the plans, but whenever I come back, I will not be playing Final Fantasy 2 or 3, and let me go into the details why. Um, Final Fantasy 2 is also on this disc. Um, Final Fantasy Origins came with Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 2 Japan. Final Fantasy 2 Japan is the other NES game, or one of three NES games. We only got one in America. And Final Fantasy 2 is not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. But I know next to nothing about it. I it's played with a lot of the same problems that Final Fantasy One did have, and it also has a very, very strange leveling system. I may come back and play it another time, but whenever I come back to my Final Fantasies, I will probably be skipping it, and I will definitely be skipping the Japanese version of Three. The original Final Fantasy 3 was not released to America until the DS remake, and I literally know nothing more than bare-bones information about it. Like, I know the main character is Onion Knights, like four of them, similar to how this game was. You have four characters that are nondescript, and 
they have a job system which is kind of the primitive basis for a better job system in a later game. But, it, I have no real way of, of really playing that one. And, again, I know next to nothing about it, so I wouldn't be able to comment on really anything happening in the story. I would literally be almost be playing it blind, which, again, that might end up happening, but not right now. So, next project. Well, it's been a couple of games since I had another series that I was working on, and I think it's time to return to Pokemon. So, the next, next game that I will be playing is Pokemon Crystal. So, until then, folks. I hope you've all enjoyed this series. I do apologize about this video probably being a little bit longer. I may end up breaking it up. You'll know by the time I get to this. Um, but... <sighs> trying to think of anything else I can say in closing. No, I can't honestly think of anything. So until next time, folks, have a good one.